Hello everyone, this is Junaid here from Edureka and I welcome you all to this session in which I'm going to talk about network programming using Python. So without any further delay, let's take a look at today's agenda. We will start this session by understanding what are sockets and how to create them in Python. Following that, we shall understand the concepts of client and server and how they communicate in a single and multiple communication link. Finally, we shall take a look at how to transfer Python objects using socket programming. Before we begin, consider subscribing to our channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated on training technologies. And also, if you're looking for online training certification in Python, check out the link given in the description box below. So, what exactly are sockets? Sockets are basically the interior endpoints used for sending and receiving the data. By default, a single network has two sockets, one for each communication device. These sockets are the combination of IP address and port numbers. Guys, you see, a single device can have n number of sockets based on the port numbers that is being used. Different ports are available for different protocols. For example, HTTP protocol uses a port number 80, whereas FTP protocol makes use of a port number 20. So now that we know what sockets are, let's see how we can create sockets in Python. To create sockets in Python, we need to import socket module. This module has many built-in methods that are required for creating sockets and help them associate with each other. Few of the important methods that are used are socket.socket, .socket, which is used to create a socket. This socket is used in both client as well as in the server side. To accept the communication, we use socket.accept method. Now that we know how to create sockets in Python, let's discuss few of the fundamental terminologies used in network programming. So what are servers? Well, you see, server is a device that is designed to manage network resources. What I'm trying to say here is the term server commonly refers to a computer system. And what the system does is that it receives requests for web files and send those files to the clients. Speaking about clients, clients are basically a software or a computer that sends requests to the server. For every request made, server gives an appropriate response. The best example for server and client is a web browser. Here we put forward a request to get web page, say Facebook. Now the web browser directs our request to the Facebook server and the server gives a response by providing us the web page we desire. I'm sure you might be wondering how does these two communicate with each other, right? Well, it's by using an IP address. You see, IP address which stands for internet protocol is a unique number that is used to identify an electronic device. What I'm trying to say here is, all devices that are connected to internet connection have a unique IP addresses. Now that you have understood what are servers and clients, and how they communicate, let's move to my code editor and show you how we can create them. So let me quickly move to my code editor. All right, so as we come here to our code editor, we are going to first create a folder called a server.py. And first off, as we all know, to create a socket, right, we have to create an object of it. But before doing that, let's import our socket. So import socket. All right, and now we'll create an object of our socket. It will be socket dot socket. All right. Now within our socket, right, we'll also pass few of the arguments such as socket dot f i n r d a and also socket underscore stream. All right. So we basically use this in order to connect to our internet and also to our TCP IP protocol. Okay, so now that we have created our socket, next we are going to bind our method. So we over here we are going to call the object of socket dot bind. All right. So within this we are going to pass a tuple value wherein we are going to provide the port number. As our system, right? As our local host is going to be the server, we are going to use something called as socket dot get host name, and also the port number we can give any random port number. Here I'm going to use one zero four. Okay. So socket dot get host name. All right, and also the port number is supposed to be mentioned. So I'm going to use here as one zero four two. All right. So after this, we are going to pass something called as socket dot listen method. So now we are going to have something like while loop. So now we have this while loop, right? So what this while loop suggests is while the connection is true. All right. Now what we want is we are going to use something called as accept method SOC socket dot accept method okay and now what this accept method returns it returns the address of our port right so it's going to be something like clt comma address 
So now what I want to do over here is we are going to print our address. Okay, so we, it will be something like print connection established to address and then we are going to specify this particular address over here. Okay, so now I want to send a message to our client, right? So what I'm going to do over here is in order to send a message, we are going to use something called as CLT. CLT is nothing but an object which is written by accept. Okay, along with the address, it also returns this client, whatever message you want to send. So it's going to be CLT dot send. Now we are supposed to send in the form of bytes. Okay, so we are going to give like bytes and any message that I would like to give. So let's give something like network programming using Python. All right, and now we are also going to pass this UTF. 8 because it's been encoded to the byte form right so now that we are done with the server side let's also write a program for our client as we all know first off we're going to import our socket here so import socket okay and similar to our server we are also supposed to create the socket for our client so i'll just copy this and paste it over here so now how this works is basically we have our server Okay, the server has a socket. Now, at the same time, we also have a client. The client also has a socket, right? Now, the client obviously has to listen to this server, right? So, in order to do that, it has to connect to this part. So, we use something called as socket dot connect. Okay, so it's going to be soc dot connect. And now we are supposed to pass a port number over here. The port number, whatever you pass over here, should be exactly similar to the port number that you are giving over here. Okay, so here I'm going to give port number as 1024. And apart from that, we are also supposed to give this particular part. All right, so now till now the connection is established. Okay, so now what we want over here is we obviously want the messages to be received from the server side. Okay, so in order to do that, we will have a variable here msg, which is nothing but soc dot receive. Okay. Now within the receive right it accepts a parameter which is an integer value. So what this parameter says is how many bytes you want to receive per cycle. So let's take something like 100 bytes as of now. Okay, and now what we'll do is we want to print our message print message. Okay, as the message that was sent was encoded one we have to decode our value. So we are going to use message dot decode and then we are going to pass UTF hyphen eight. All right, guys. So let us now execute our code and see how this would look like. So first off, we are going to run our server and then we are going to run our client. So obviously we're we are going to press play over here. So the server is up and running. So let us now run our client over here. Okay, so as you can see here, right, the message that we wanted to pass is network programming using Python. Okay, so as you can see here, it has received from the client over here. So just to make it better. Let's give something like we'll pass a string here msg. This is nothing but message received. And the message is so now what we're going to do here is we want a message to be passed. So we'll use concatenation here msg plus this part over here. Okay, so let us now rerun our code and see how this would look like. So first off, we are going to go for server and we'll rerun this. And then we are going to go for our client and rerun this again. So you'll see here, right? So it says message received and the message is network programming using Python. Now, if you come back to our server side, you will see here that at the initial stage, we wanted to print our address. Okay, so you can see this, right? So the connection established to address and it gives our local host name. Okay, and at the same time, it also passes this particular value. Before we go on to the next topic, there's a small topic that I would like to discuss here. As you can see here, right, like message soc dot receive. You see, this receives in a small bits. Now, for example, if I put eight over here, it will receive eight bits and it will stop the server. Okay, so let me quickly rerun our client now. So, as you can see here, right, so it receives eight bits and then it stops. So, now what should I do if I want to receive all the messages and I want to receive eight bytes at a time? So, in order to overcome that, we'll use while loop. So, this would be something like while. True. Okay, so now what we want is we'll have a message here. 
So the message has to be constantly receiving as long as it's true and then it's going to receive 8 bits and then we are going to have something like this print the message okay so let us now rerun our code at the client side so as you can see here right the messages are being received 8 bit at a time and the while loop has run for 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 times okay so this is all about how to establish the connection between client and server using socket module now that we have seen how we can send message between client and server let us now move ahead and see how we can send a python objects so for this let's now move back to our code editor all right guys as you can see here i've already written our code before i go and explain this right so let me quickly walk you through what is pickle module over here you see pickle module is basically used to serialize our objects so to understand this let me quickly execute this okay so first of all we'll have like let's declare a dictionary here so let's say a is equal to we'll have dictionary something like one and we'll give the value for one as client and then we have a second object so the key over here will be two and the value for this key would be server now if i print this right it's obviously if i print a right so print a this will give me this dictionary so as you can see here we are getting this dictionary over here so now what i want is i want to serialize this particular output so in order to do that i will use this pickle module so import pickle and now as i want to serialize this so i'm going to use pickle dot dumps and then pass a so let's execute this now so as you can see here right so our entire code has been encrypted over here so in order to get this back to our dictionary we use deserialization so we'll discuss that in the client side okay so coming back to our server one program so as you can see here right first off we are going to import our socket and then we'll import our pickle module and then as we all know in order to create a socket we use socket.socket .socket method and we have this built-in arguments which is used to establish internet connection and also have tcp ip protocol so now in order to bind this we are going to use uh, s dot bind method and pass our port number fine while the connection is true we are going to use s dot accept the connection and now we are going to use this print over here in order to print our address fine so as you can see here we are going to create an object that is the dictionary m is equal to uh, client and server right now we'll be serializing this so we're going to use pickle dot dumps so now once this is done what we're going to do is just to modify our message we're going to have my message and then we're going to pass the length of our message and also the message and then we're going to print our message before we send it across fine so in order to send our message we're going to use clt dot send method so coming to our client program over here so first off, we are going to have socket over here. We are going to use pickle module in order to deserialize our message. Okay. So first off, we'll create our socket here and then establish a connection. Fine. So while the connection is true, right? What we want is we'll give something like this. Okay. This is an empty string wherein every time the message is received in a particular byte, we'll add it to this. We'll concatenate to this particular string. All right. So as long as the receive message is true, we'll have something like this message dot receive 16 bytes. If all the messages have been received, this is going to execute. And finally, it's going to concatenate with received info. Once all the messages have been received, right? We obviously want to print it out. So this is where we are going to print our received message. So let us now quickly run our code. So first off, we are going to run our server one. Fine. So now second thing we'll run our client. All right, so as you can see here, right? We are trying to pass this message Okay, so let's let's move to our server and see if we have passed the same object or not So as you can see here, let's take this last two digits. So it's ending with x 0 2 u, right? So if you see the client over here, you can see even it's ending over here with the same one So yeah with this we can say we are successfully sending our object from our server to the client All right guys with this we come to the end of our session. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new if you have any further questions, please do mention them in the comment box below. Until next time, goodbye and take care. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!